Hello. Today we're in Winchcombe. It's a town in the Cotswolds. Its name means the valley on a bend, and it stands on the River Isbourne, which rises on Cleve Common nearby. People have lived around here for 5,000 years. Nearby Bella Snap is a Neolithic long barrow. Winchcombe was a settlement in Roman times, and then in the Saxon era, it suddenly grew in importance. It became the capital of the Huica, a tribe who owed allegiance to the kings of Mercia. At Amanda Weybridge House, we're looking from North Street down Back Lane, Bell Cottage and Tavern House. Makes you wonder what it was, doesn't it? Winchcombe's importance increased once more when it became the capital of Winchcombeshire. Yes, it had its very own county. This county covered much of the Cotswolds, the Vale of Evesham and the land around Cheltenham. It came to being in the 10th or early 11th century and in 1017 it was absorbed into Gloucestershire. You can see why I sort of get confused with Sirencester. It's very similar, this massive hedge as you come into the town. The vineyard street led to Winchcombe Abbey's vineyard, which makes sense. It was later called Dock Street after an 18th century docking school. A suitably spooky pathway behind a locked gate. In the 16th century, nearby Sudeley Castle was home to Catherine Parr, the widow of Henry VIII. You get names like Cloisters, bringing to mind the old Abbey there. Later on, the area became known for tobacco farming and there are still a couple of streets whose names remember that trade. The town's fortunes improved in the 19th century, but it had to wait till 1905 to get the railway, and even then it was a little way out of town on the Hamlet of Breet. That line is still in use as the Gloucestershire Warwickshire Steam Railway. <laughs> this is Chandos and Dent's almshouses. That's a place for his arms. And that's the war memorial. That's St Peter's Church, Winchcombe. In the 8th century, King Offa, he of the dyke, founded a nunnery here, which later became a Benedictine abbey. The abbey was a place of pilgrimage, with medieval pilgrims visiting the tomb of St Kenelm. The abbey is now gone, but St Peter's Church next to it is still there. The abbey was abolished by Henry VIII, of course, but in this case it was dwindling anyway 
with only a handful of monks there to be abolished. St. Peter's was built for the townsfolk. The monks and that had their own church. So you don't mix town and gown. The tower bears the bullet holes from a skirmish in the Civil War. Anyway, it's still, still long enough, it's going to collect bullet holes, isn't it? The Abbey would basically have been over there. This, meanwhile, as you can see the land rises here, is a Saxon earthwork. Later became Cold Lane, Cow Lane, and then the Cow Lane. Cow Lane is a whole. Winchcombe has a population of around 7,000, of whom about half are over 50. George was developed in the 16th century for the pilgrim trade. Now this is the side of the George. And as you can see there is a Draigo, which will make me very happy. This is the old Suli Arms. As far as I know, there's now only one pub called the Sunday Arms in the country. That's a joke. I'm standing by a house called Little Beck because it does actually have a little beck running behind it. The word beck, of course, is related to Bach in German. Miss Brook. There you are. I'm the kind of Bach music. Now this is either the old silk mill or something that's replaced it. You know what it is with silk mills, they need loads of light in the long room. The stream is the Eisborn, which rises on Cleve Common. That's a very fine building, isn't it? That's Winchcombe Town Hall, as was, is now the museum. Houston is very much a town, not a village. Used to be the capital of Mercia. On the night of the 28th of February 2021,
the Wilcock family of Winchcombe had an unexpected visitor. A 4.6 billion year old meteorite impacted with their front drive. It was the first meteorite found in Britain since 1991. Pieces are on display in the Winchcombe Museum. This is Gloucester Street. It's out of town towards Cheltenham and yeah, Gloucester. Physician and scientist Christopher Merritt was born in Winchcombe in 1614. He is said to have documented the idea of making wine sparkling by putting sugar in it some years before Dom Perignon invented champagne. That's Time Cottage. And that's Passage House. And that's Vine Tree Cottage, where there is a vine tree above the door. The corner cupboard is a 16th century inn on the corner of Malthouse Lane. 